you don't always know the timing. That's all these I can, I can, but I didn't have any of that stuff ready to go, like ready to go. You're really trying to get shoulder length, or shoulder height, I mean, if you're um, gonna go at a 90 degree angle. My favorite part, doing dishes. Good morning, everybody. I am starting my pig nipple water project today. I don't think it's gonna take very long. I have this food grade barrel out here that was already here. Uh, as far as I can tell, no leaks or anything, but I've, I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole before I clean it out. Um, stopped yesterday at the hardware store and got a inch and a quarter hole bit. That's what's suggested with the bulkhead that we got for the pig nipple water lures. So bulkhead, that is the nipple attached to the bulkhead. So on the packaging for this, uh, it suggested an inch and a quarter hole bit. So we'll, hopefully that will be correct. When I looked at the inch and an eighth, it seemed pretty tight. Um, that could be a good, could be end up being bad. Depends how thick your material is. Uh oh, Charlie's eating cat food. Oh, no cat food. Trying to let Charlie hang out with me and do this project. He's already looking for stuff to get into. Charlie, you gonna hang out or are you gonna? Can you hang out? Stay out of the cat food. Anyway, uh, two separate purchases: a bulkhead. That's what we will thread into the bucket, and the actual nipple water. We got a, like a five pack of these and waters for pretty cheap. I'm only gonna install one. I've seen suggested like one for 10 pigs. So I think one now, the height has been my um, confusion on how high to adjust it. I think mommy wants you to go outside. Can you go? Um, so height. So I'm gonna shoot for like you know, piglet, wean piglets, like maybe like seven, eight inches, but then you'd want it more like at 12 inches once they are growing up. So I'm gonna just kind of split the difference and go maybe about 10 inches or so, or eyeball it. Like that looks good to me. And then I have a second, I have a second setup of this. So if it ends up being too low, I'll end up, I'll just install another one higher when that time comes. Uh, or wherever that may be. This is a smaller barrel. This is not a 55 gallon barrel, but it's what's here. And uh, for two pigs, that's what I'm gonna start with. If I discover that I'm filling it too much because anything below that, they're not gonna get to. So they're really only gonna get the water capacity of what's above it. But I thought this might be easier to move at first. And uh, I don't know. SD card is full as usual. Do something and the SD card is full or the GoPro dies. I just was saying that not sure how to how high to install it. Uh, that basically we'll lose this water capacity above whatever or below wherever I install it. If I install it here, all the water below here is never going to be used, uh, but can add weight and stabilize it. So really, the water capacity will be above that area and. Uh, I don't know, we're just learning as we go. There is literally no risk or loss in trying this. Usually if I try something and it works for something for a little bit, I always find another way to repurpose it and use it for something else. So better to just get it going. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna find my spot. I'm gonna use my judgment my gut, and then I'm gonna check where that measurement is and see, I'm feeling about 12 inches is correct. Uh, so that's where we're gonna go.
Okay, so I did go about, uh, I went just a little bit above 12 inches. That was my, there was already kind of a dirty spot. I just used that as my mark. Um, <laughs> but that's where I was feeling. Um, you're really trying to get shoulder length, or shoulder height, I mean, if you're um, gonna go at a 90 degree angle. If you're gonna go like this, you know you wanna be a little bit higher. But uh, because of this system, that's about where we're at. And I feel like if these pigs are a little too small, I can always just bury, nest this down into the wood chips a little bit, or I could always, if it's too low, I could set it on a, a couple bricks or something and secure it with some T-posts. Anyway, I felt like this was a good spot to start. Um, little tip on the, and this seems just, you know, a little, little loosey-goosey in there, but I did buy some sealant um, to, uh, Take care of that and another tip was that I bought a bit that you could buy just a whole bit or um, you can buy one that has the uh, starter bit in there for a lot cheaper uh, this was from a uh, like a local hardware store so it's like that do it brand or whatever cheap that the hardware store eight bucks i'll use it for all kinds of stuff anyway uh i went back and forth between the inch and a quarter or inch and an eighth or whatever you know it suggested on the uh, packaging and i went with what it suggested uh it said inch and a quarter it's got a gasket on there hopefully that gasket helps but i also bought uh some food safe clear silicone i'm just gonna go ahead and do it i've seen a couple guys that went back after the fact and had to seal it to stop some water leaks i'm just gonna do it up front and uh yeah that's where we're at so now i've got my hole drilled i'm gonna kind of test test fit this then i'll go wash my barrel uh wash it out real good I don't think anything was ever in here but feed and right now it's all in there is dust but the lid and the in the barrel can use a wash before i start using it so that will be my next step to go out in the cold and wash this barrel and i'm just going to take a utility knife and kind of clean up any of these burrs and any, around the edge here it's really not bad but it'll just help give it a better seal reason I waited till after I drilled my hole to wash my barrel is because some of that plastic shavings just ended up inside the barrel anyway so all right time for the fun my favorite part doing dishes I thought it was gonna be cold out here but it's already warming up so this won't be as awful as I thought washing I was I'm still not sure what kind of weather I'm gonna get when I step outside this morning was cold it's already the sun is really starting to warm things up We've had this kind of couple of days of this false spring that are gonna trick things into blooming and, and it goes back down to 17 degrees. Weird stuff, hard stuff to deal with uh, when they're anticipating animals and planting and all that stuff. But, all right, got my washing materials, my dishwashing station. Hey, that wouldn't be a bad idea out here to set up a game washing station or something like that. All right, fun stuff.
Alright, we're going to leave that to dry in the sun a little bit before I install the actual water. Um, I'm going to make, you know, want to make sure where I put the silicone seal it and everything's nice and dry. So we'll just let it drip dry for a little bit and then dry the area. I'm going to install it and get it in. It's really nice out. It could be a productive day. I think we uh, are going to try and go get the flatbed trailer and bring the chicken tractor over here. Uh, the chicken brooder, the larger brooder is another thing that we would need to bring on the trailer. So I have to make a little list of stuff to bring on the trailer we want to bring our wood splitter over here too to uh, split some of these larger logs that were already here before we moved here and uh, consolidate the firewood which is kind of when we got here it was in four different horse stalls and uh, as we've been burning what will fit in the wood burner we've been pulling from different wood stalls and just leaving the big pieces behind so we need to split the rest of that up and consolidate it to wherever we're going to start stacking wood we think for the time being those horse stalls might be the best spot since we don't have horses and there are some other stalls already open in the other barn where we're going to do the pigs so we might just keep stacking wood in there it keeps it nice and dry for now until we find a place maybe closer to the house that would be the intention so we're not doing all that back and forth I'd like to uh, ideally stack wood once and pull from that to burn and not be pulling from big stack to stacks in the garage and all that. But we got to figure that out still. I was just realizing like I still have a lot of anxieties about this pig thing. I think I remember it just as the same feeling I had like once we ordered chickens and they hadn't come yet. Or like once I think early early on when we told a friend like yeah we'll take your egg layers and then I was like excited and then started freaking out a little bit too because it's just something new to me and then I just have to remind myself that once they got here we figured it out and you know we're still we still figure it out we still are learning stuff about the chickens every day For my personality that's the way it is when I because I overthink I think 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 so until I can actually start to like hands-on figure the thing out I get like a uh, stress release once that happens because i'm like oh okay i'm okay i'm not i haven't ruined anything and i can adapt and i can figure this stuff out the pace though like everything comes in its right time i really do <laughs> have to like i have to remind myself that because i like want to make things happen i'm like get impatient and like i got on this pig thing and i was like okay i need these pigs and i need to find them and now I'm, i need them as soon as possible so we can finish them before we get married or before winter comes and I just get like this got a go 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 thing and then once I secured the pigs I'm like okay I need to get these pigs here next week and then the, the guy you know that has the pigs is like oh well, he's gonna keep them a little longer because the weather well and all that I'm realizing there's st I still had a lot of things to do <laughs> like in my mind I'm like okay I've got the waters ordered I've got a place I can put them I can put wood chips in there I can put straw in there that's all these I can I can but I didn't have any of that stuff ready to get like ready to go and that has like this little bit of extra time that wasn't by my choice but was given to me is totally necessary um, and has made the whole thing I'm sure less stressful like that I'll actually have the stall ready with nice thick dry wood chips and it's been cleaned out and I'll have the electric nets set up ready to train them to and I'll have the water ready and a food pan ready I mean I haven't even gone and picked up our order of feed but that is a little bit I think of me just being like what if for some reason this deal falls through and I get 600 pounds of pig feed so I've been a little bit hesitant on that but I think once I get the word of hey you're gonna pick the pigs up Wednesday I'll go ahead and make the the feed order and I also feel like we for some reason wouldn't get these pigs we're gonna get pigs somewhere so I am not worried about that too much but other than that being like the only thing left to do before the pigs come that is gonna relieve a lot of stress I feel like when we got 
the egg layers, I still was like running around trying to put things in place. Didn't really know. Now I have a better sense of what needs to be in place before the animals get here. So you don't always know the timing. You don't always know the timing. You're never in control of the timing. Mm -hmm.